In this video guys you will learn the best colour correction settings that you can use on your Elgato software to record and stream the best quality on Fortnite Save the World or Fortnite Battle Royale. Stay tuned to find out more. <laughs> Yo guys, Monk here, welcome back to another video on the channel. Before I get into the video guys, I just want to give a big shout out to my bro King Arctic. I want to get him to 3,000 subscribers guys. So go ahead if you can, go show him what the Monkey Army is made of and go and subscribe to his channel. He's on 2,439 subscribers. I will leave a link to his channel down in the description below. But what he is doing is giving away free guns to you guys on Fortnite Saved the World. So if you want some free guns or you're just starting off on Fortnite Saved the World, make sure you go ahead and check him out. He will be uploading some of the latest glitches as well on Fortnite as well. So if I don't get to him first, he sure will. So make sure you go ahead, check his channel out, subscribe to him as well and comment on his latest video saying that you want some free Fortnite weapons and he will hop into a game and give you some weapons for absolutely free guys. So make sure you go ahead and check him out. And also guys, if you haven't already checked out my video now to get Fortnite Save the World for absolutely free, then what you're doing, just click the link in the description down below guys, go ahead and get Fortnite Save the World for absolutely free. Only working on the Xbox One we'll though guys, but without further ado, let's get into the actual video so on screen now you can see me playing fortnite with no settings or anything changed this is just a basic canvas of what you get when you load up fortnite save the world when you actually load up your elgato software and not tweak any of the settings so obviously it looks all right to you guys because it's your first time seeing it but to me it looks really dull but fortnite is a game where it's got bright colors and everything anyway so the colors pop but it still looks kind of grey tonish, and I don't really know how to explain it, but it looks really dull to me. And basically, in this video, I'm going to show you uh, a before and after um, what the clip looks like when I actually go ahead and then put in the settings that I do in the Elgato software. So what we're going to do, we're going to head over to the Elgato software. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys my preferences, what I use, my settings that I use when actually going ahead and recording and streaming for Fortnite Battle Royale. So on screen now, you go ahead into your settings page on Elgato and you want to go over to your picture settings and obviously everything is going to go ahead and be reset to the, the default. So I'm going to put everything on mine to 0, 0, 0, 0. So first of all guys, what you're going to go ahead and do is up your, set, uh, your brightness to 3. And that's all you need to up it by. And then you want to up your saturation all the way over to 80. Now, once you've done that, you want to go ahead and head over into your Fortnite uh, game and you want to go ahead and just increase the brightness on that. So now, guys, when you're on Fortnite, obviously I'm on Fortnite now, you can see a massive difference that the settings have already made to the game. But now I'm just going to go ahead over into settings of the game and go into brightness settings. And all we're going to do is just going to change the brightness to 80. Same as what we did with the saturation on the Elgato software, we're just going to go ahead and change the brightness of the game to 80. And as you can see, guys, it just looks more crisp. It looks, it just looks, in my eyes, a lot better. But for some of you guys, depending on the monitor or TV or whatever, I don't know what you're playing on. Depending on the monitor or the screen you are playing on, you might have to tweak the brightness a little bit. So yeah, guys, that is basically it for that tutorial. What I will do now is I will show you a clip of what it looked like before. And show you a clip of what it looks like afterwards and then I will put the clips together so after the screen will be before and after the screen will be uh, afterwards and you can go ahead and see for yourself how good these settings are when actually going ahead and recording or streaming using the Elgato software if you do have an Elgato. Now if you want me to go ahead and do a video on how to do this in the Sony Vegas after you've actually recorded the video uh, using some other software or whatever if you do not have the Elgato then please let me know in the comment section below I'll go ahead and do that video happily but make sure you go ahead to check out my boy King Arctic try and get him to 3,000 subscribers go ahead message him to get some free guns guys also subscribe to me if you haven't done already like this video if you did enjoy it and it did help you in some way guys and make sure you go ahead and smash that bell icon next subscribe button to ensure you never miss a video on the channel because i know that youtube are not sending out notifications when i actually go ahead and publish a video so make sure you go ahead and enable that so that you get every single notification 
when I upload a video so that you will be the first one to go ahead and comment on the video and then I will go ahead and pin your comment. So yeah guys, I will be streaming doing live channel reviews so if you do have a channel and you want me to go ahead and review your channel live so you get a little shout out on stream then go ahead and leave your channel name in the comment section as well and I will go ahead and review your channel live in the uh, stream and give you some criticisms and some positive feedback to what you are doing and how you can go ahead and change things to make sure that you get more views on your videos. So yeah guys, thank you for watching. I will see you in the next one. Peace out.